and sets it on the on the register belt. And then he says, oh wait, I got the two squidoodly bobs right here. Opens up another cargo short pocket, pulls out two full syringes of heroin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he, proceeds to, he proceeds to take those and jab them into the top of the brick. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Now that sounds like my kind of man to party with. Oh my god. He, he then grabs his item <laughs> and leaves the store. Wait, who's the other one that wants to take shots with me? Oh does he so, just god. leave did just, he just the leave them there? He he just walked away. <laughs> so this June? isn't the end of the this isn't the end of the story though. Nah, so did, like, get the police? No. So one of the managers walks up from the back from the back room. Takes his finger, runs it across the top, puts it to his tongue, and goes, "Yep, that's cocaine," and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. A friend of, my, a friend of mine would work uh, works at Wendy's, and <laughs> they love people love to leave shit in the bathroom. And oh no! Oh, he, oh he, God, I know. One day, no, not like actual shit, like drugs and everything else. One day, he goes there and. He has to clean, unfortunate, unfortunate for him. The one old lady that they have, they call Grandma. Which, nice old lady, I can see why. They see some type of substance in a baggie in one of the bathrooms. They're like, well, we think this is cocaine. I, I, I don't know what to do. Grandma comes up, sticks her finger into the powder, rubs it on her gums, and just goes, yep, cocaine. Okay. This, like, 60-year-old woman just goes, yeah, that's cocaine. Remember, 60 no, people were 20 so, sometime. So, I wasn't actually done with the story, though. Oh, so I'm sorry. The, the Wait, hold, that, hold, hold the story for a sec, I got a call. Alright. Uh, so who, who's the one that wanted to take shots with me again? Oh. Not me. I can't. Nani? Nani? Wait, Satin? You're, oh, yeah, that's... Wait, what? All right, I I'm think back. you got me confused for someone. Oh god, I'm, All right, I'm back. back. Alright, you're back? Yeah. Alright, so the head cashier walks out of her office. Looks at me and just goes, What the fuck is this? I just go, I don't know, what the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> and so, she calls the police. But before she could even do that, another one of the managers walks out. Grabs the brick with the syringes still in it. Just uh, hands me a hands me a fifty and leaves. Did he did he just never does he just never show up to work again? No, so after that, the police show up. The manager that took the brick walks back up to the front of the store, looks at me and says, You're getting another hundred and fifty bucks in your paycheck net this week. I just look at him and just go, okay. And you and see then, I never what said a word. What is up with these people in the Cravers? This is well, I don't you know, just, dude. You just did say a word, technically, so... Shut up, you. So, Shut like, your slut mouth. Jesus Christ. Are these guys, like, Shut pro Cravers or something? Like, because that's what I'm getting the feeling of, because I'm just getting right, really confused. So, yeah, all like, right, how, so all your co-workers are drug addicts? No. No. It's your manager. No, the one manager is. He was an extra drug addict. Says. Well, the other manager, not anymore. The other manager just took it out to the back, to the back room, just so he could actually what? come on to it, so nobody would take it. What? Yeah, I know. It was no, weird. no, no, no. I just got like, like, how did he even kill me there? Oh. 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 And then, oh, no, okay, yeah, one of these guys is actually really good with the cave OGs. No, no, no. He was using the. Uh, okay, I need to not be standing still. Oh, are you talking so... about the guy using the Spitfire? Lit, uh, hit, uh, Wingman Elite, he just like, he like flicks me super hard. So, I actually have a couple other ones. Do one tell, time, you, have, you have good stories. One time, this one late, I was working the express lane. This lady comes through my line. That hairstyle that had a 175% chance of wanting to talk to the manager. Oh no! Oh, no. Or, and one of those ladies? Yep. And I say, good evening ma'am, how are you today? And she goes, Excuse me, did you just assume my gender? Oh, yes. no. God. And, oh, no. and I looked at her and I just say, Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I do not see... R I'm sorry, ma'am. 
what did you want me to call you? Because I don't see rotor blades and a tail coming out of you, so I can't obviously call you an attack <laughs> helicopter. Oh, shit. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that is biggest, amazing. Where the biggest have you been, where, you where could have have been for the last like five years when I needed jokes like these? And or stories so, like us. She looks at me and just goes, Can I see your manager? I just go, Oh, sure. Sure. Let me just go get them. Mind you, that my manager is a, at the at that time was a was a small Asian lady that, who was pregnant. Oh, like eight months shit. pregnant, and she was pissed as shit usually. So, she walks out of her office, looks at her, and just goes, "Yes, you needed me." And and the lady was just like, "Yes, this boy has been very, very disrespectful of me." And I just go, "Oh, I'm sorry. You come in here." And say, oh, Did God. you just assume my gender? I just and I, I'm supposed to was I'm supposed to know what your identity is. Well, um, I'm sorry, Miss Sarkeesian. Please leave. <laughs> and you know, <laughs> she she looks at me and just go. She looks at me, looks at the manager and says, "Fire this boy." And the she looks at her with the most stereotype. She looks at her with just her squinty little eyes and just goes, "No." You leave. Damn. Beautiful. That is beautiful. And, and she said, why? Like, the lady has said, just asked her, why won't you fire him? And she said, because. He, because. He has seen enough of this shit to know that you are a piece of goddamn trash. Oh, fucking hey. Did he just, he just kill me? Your manager day? is a savage. Dude, that, your no, 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 no. At that, at that point, it's not even savage. It's savage. And so oh, this savage. lady, this lady walks out, and she comes back in another time, and she comes back through my line again, and I say, "Good evening, ma'am," to her again, just to take her off. <laughs> Except this time, she decides to call me, and I quote. My god, what is these guys in the creators? Okay, don't go on. A... A neo-Nazi piece of shit. <laughs> wow. I, I looked One at her people. and just... I looked at her. And with the m bit most oh German accent that I could muster, I just go, Psychia! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, did he... Beautiful. Dude, Holy you're a beautiful fuck. person. Oh, and, then I, and then my other friend walks up, one of my friends walks up, and he goes, Hello, my name is Hans, and this is Franz? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, um. <laughs> oh, oh goddammit, I can't jump high enough. <laughs> so, another one was, there used to be this other guy who would always come in basically drunk. Couldn't tell if he was, couldn't tell if he wasn't. But he would always buy the same items. Same thing as the other guy, which is really weird. He would always buy a gallon of milk, an milk? onion. An onion? Why is it? What's with your people in onions? <laughs> I don't know. Apparently onions are nutritious. Some, apparently it's some sort of catalyst for drugs. Um, but comes in. Milk, onions, turkey bacon. Not normal bacon, heathens. Turkey bacon? No. What turkey the bacon, fuck? Turkey bacon and a box of garbage bags. Okay. Oh, okay. What is he doing with that? Is he hiding a body? I don't. Yeah. So, he would come in, and he would always be drunk as fuck. And he would always do the same thing. He would also always go over to the hot foods area and buy a bucket of chicken. Oh, dude, that's the best thing to do. Especially yeah. Yes, but he's always drunk. <laughs> he would always leave his car on in the middle of the parking lot, blaring music with all the windows down. Uh, uh, that's a man that gives no fucks about. Was he paid. ever robbed? <laughs> no, but Sweet this man. Sweet Jesus, how horrifying! This guy was a man that we also called Pregnant Santa. Oh Wait. no! Oh, <laughs> because oh, no. He, <laughs> did he have he a had, belly? He oh, had. He looked like he was pregnant. He had a white beard that oh, went down God. to his belly button. He had a shirt that was too small, and you could see his belly. He would always be wearing shorts, and you could tell that he was drunk because he always walked with a slight misstep. And slurred his speech. Not because he couldn't walk. <laughs> no, and also he always had slurred speech. 
High five him, you fucking assholes! No. So. Oh shit! I forgot to change my faction again. <laughs> what Same. Else Same. Now, what else would happen? What? He would always go and buy his items, and then hit on the nearest female cashier for a good half hour. Well, I guess Mrs. Claus just doesn't do it like she used to. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think he had a Mrs. Claus. Now, yeah, that makes now, sense. One day, he was he was hitting on my girlfriend. <gasps> oh, oh shit. shit! And she is still my girlfriend to this day. Mind you, my girlfriend is one of those very petite type girls. And he tried to hit on her, walked around the back of her register and tried to pick her up. What? Yes. I proceeded to walk up to him and just go, I'm sorry, sir. The petting zoo was not open at this time. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. My girlfriend looked at me with the face of, babe, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even I can't even be mad about that satchel right now. I, I, I <laughs> Listen, you Jun, you just need to you need to be renamed the storyteller on the server. That is just gonna be that is who you are. Your stories are amazing. There's a lot of them. Yeah. And so I walk up so after that, he goes that's me on the head. Wait, he hit you in the head? No, he just took his hand and just patted me on the head. <laughs> oh, that's like asking for death right there. And what? at that moment, this man is probably- I only weigh about 150 pounds. I mean, I weigh less. Oh, guys, yes, I- but I'm 6'2". Fair enough. Wow. And, wow. Yes, and so this guy starts saying, Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to do anything. And I just look him dead in the face and just go, I know you won't. He's like, what do you mean by that? I take him by the arm and I flip him over. Simply put. And he's just like, okay then. And he leaves. No, <laughs> the guy is so my name, my name was half of saying no, it's sat. It's a fabric. So, you know, the man was eventually banned from the store. After multiple attempts of going behind the cash registers of female cashiers, and attempting to pick them up. It was very strange. However... Yeah? Alright, I gotta go out there. I gotta go. Just finish, right. it. finish it real quick. Well, that, that was about it. Ah. There right. was another one involving a... How would I call Get it? Back. Very overly sassy black woman. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh joy. And her boyfriend. So, oh boy. or husband, or whatever he was. Significant other. So, I was working my normal shift as a cashier. And I always get these people that come in and are like, well, your thing in the back says this, but they don't actually bring up the tag. No, they decide that it would be a better idea to show me a picture on their phones. Wait, what are you doing now? I had to, um... Alright, I'm gonna go, guys. See ya. See ya See later. Ya. See ya, man. Wait, what are you talking about now? Yes, sassy exactly. black lady. Yes. Oh, okay. So, she comes up, and her boyfriend comes up. They had a couple items, and I scanned her yogurt. You what happens? Right. I scanned her yogurt. Oh. Okay. So, what happened was, was that she said, Excuse me, those say that they are 65 cents on the, on the tag in the back. I say, Sure, do you have the tag? She says, no, I have a picture of your shelf. So, she brings up a picture of the so-called shelf and shows it to me. And it was a picture from an entirely different store because we have closed shelves, like refrigerators. Yeah. With glass doors. She shows me one of an open front shelf. So I say, I'm sorry, ma'am, but that's not our shelves. And her boyfriend's just like, hun, don't do this. Just just pay the six just pay the sixty cents extra. And so she says, Well, I'm I say, I'm sorry, ma'am. 
those aren't our shelves. I can't give you that discount. So, what happens is, she jump. She just says that she's going to jump over my register and make me give her it for that amount. And I simply tell her, Ma'am, you are very welcome to try. But, mind you, the moment you jump over this register, I am allowed to use force. Shit. Because that's so... Yeah, self-defense at that point. Exactly. She puts one foot on the front of the belt, gets up, and tries to actually jump over the register, trying to tackle me in the process. And again, I'm not that... I'm not that... How would you call it? Bulky of a guy? I guess. Well built, is another word. Yeah. I just realized who you sound like to me. Who? Oh you remind me of sw Swagger Souls for some reason. No, Bryn Daniel. Never heard of that, but... You sound like Bryn Daniel. I've never heard of him. So You don't even sound like Swagger Souls. It's probably just the storytelling part. No, Bryn Daniel is this dude that uh, reads stuff from 4chan on YouTube. Ah. Uh, Tales oh, from 4chan. 4chan is a magical place, you should take a vi visit there sometime. So... I mean, not not to slash B, because... As she jumps over... my... register... Mm -hmm. and tries, attempts to tackle me to the ground... I just... slowly glance out of the way... is a way of putting it. Wait, so do, does she just fall on the ground? <laughs> She falls, flat on her face, Get out of there now. making an absolute fool of herself and her boyfriend in the process. And so what else, what, af what happens after that is pretty freaking funny, in all honesty. Did her boyfriend apologize for him? Oh, he was apologizing profusely. But, the thing that mainly happened was, was that... So, uh, went one second, I can't hear, I just got executed. Aw, okay. oh, man. And I have 97% of flame core. That's just a kick in the balls. Alright, so, she, she's lying there on the ground, and the manager, or the head cashier notices, <laughs> walks out of her office, and just goes, what's going on here? Why are you on the ground? Why are you behind the register? And why is your boyfriend pr doing so much apologizing? I barely made it on there. <laughs> Wait, this four... Oh shoot, there are four of us. What a... Yes. Oh. And... On the job. She's just... This... This lady's on the ground. Just looking up at her. Cursing at her. At which point, I proceed to take her by the arm and flip her back over the register. <laughs> and I say, I say to her, Ma'am, it's either you take it at what it is currently priced as, or you just don't get it at all. Take and it at this price, we'll get the fuck out. She said, Listen here, you cracker, you little cracker piece of shit. Oh, God. And I said, I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't understand you through your vulgarity. Oh, so... Fuck. That's Damn. why you someone is to be calm. Oh, beautiful. I'm a, I'm a stoic, mind you. So, she's like trying to rile a response out of me. And I just say, Ma'am, the more you do this, the longer that line gets, the more aggravated I might become. But the thing is, you're never going to get an emotional response out of me. Because you're just going to make yourself look like a bigger idiot. Jeez. So please, either pay for your yogurt, or just leave. Just go to that store, buy it for 69 cents, and don't ever grace, don't ever give me the grace of seeing your presence again. 
That is simply all I ask. I feel bad for your boyfriend, Jesus. One one of the things that you could say that with a calm tone, not yelling at them, when you're ending a conversation with a complete dickhead, just go, I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. One. Oh. One, it is not it is an insult, but it is not something saying you're like you're it's not like you're saying you're a fucking idiot. You're hoping oh, no. days whenever as as she are. left. Whenever she left, and, her, and she ended up buying the yogurt, mind you. Whenever she left, she was starting to go after her boyfriend. And then walked back up to me. And start tried to apologize while still mad. <laughs> what? No, yes. it, it's, it's, a, it's a weird but beautiful thing at some, at some times. And I just looked at her and said, Oh. Leave, d trust me, ma'am. It was no big deal. Having to deal with children on a daily basis is my top priority. Oh my god. Fucking savage. Dude, oh my god. you are a fucking savage. Oh my god. And I said, I said to her, if you want to buy more yogurt, you're more than welcome to. Just use a bit yeah, more than a preschool education next time. At that point, it's just free game, because she was already the dickhead to you. Yeah. And... Oh, wow, and then she, like, started to get She started to get riled up again. And I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, okay. but recess is over. Please. Leave. And... You are a back to your teacher. Mind you, the entire time, I've been acting very calm. One of my friends actually said that the way I deal with people is somewhat like Sebastian from Black Butler. Yeah. Oh, God. And it's kind of funny, because it's kind of true. Yeah. And... I mean, I could go on and on about some of these stories, but my favorite is probably this one. And this is probably going to be my last. I don't know. But, as I said before, I'm a pseudo-repairman and cashier at my job. Mm -hmm. And one day, one of the belts Shaws are or broken. Hannaford? What? Shaws or Hannaford? Uh, I don't know. But one day, one of our uh, belts broke at the... Okay. I'm derping out hard. Alright, one, one day one of the belts broke, and I had to fix one of the motors. So, my boss tells me, don't bother opening your register today. Just focus on fixing that. So I say, all right, I'll do that. So, thinking that this would be an easy day, no idiots to deal with, just four hours of me and the insides of a register from, the, like, the 80s. I decided that, sure, why not? So I open up the motor, I start to fix one of the... I start to fix the drive belt and the, and the gear shaft that's inside of it. And... You know, it was going pretty good. I had tool belt on, and I ha and my hands were covered in motor grease. Lady walks up and says, Excuse me, hun, can you check me out? And I say, Sure. As I look down at my hands, clearly covered in grease. And so I walk directly behind me, sign in, and turn it on. Or turn it on and sign in. My bad, got that mixed up. And she, the first thing she puts on the line is an unwrapped head of iceberg lettuce. Half eaten? No. Just, it's a head of lettuce that's covered in, like, dew from the sprayers, you know. Ah. Uh -huh. And so it didn't have a bag around it or anything. My hands are still covered in grease. And, D um... I go to pick it up, and she says, Excuse me, hon, but your hands appear to be a bit covered in what appears to be oil. I say, Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry to inform you, but I'm the mechanic. To which she responds with, Oh, I'm sorry, were you busy? <laughs> I, look, I look at her. I look at my hands. I say, Oh, no, you don't say. I, it's not like I was wrist deep, or elbows deep, 
in a machine that I probably could have fixed by now if it wouldn't have been for this distraction. So, no, ma'am. At the moment... <sighs> Some people's stupidity at times astounds me. Dude, I work at McDonald's. I, I know that feeling. I used to work at a Y. Fuck that place. I just the don't want the game stop MCA? Yeah, YMCA. Yeah, mm. Or as I like to call it, the 4K. <laughs> oh my god. Swim <laughs> to be at the Y. No, stop. No. Sorry. No. Sorry. No. Two no. completely different things, aren't they? No, same thing, but fuck that place, no. Hi, Tone! Ow. Mind you, this has only been my job at the grocery store. You it's just applied to GameStop? Yup. You Wait. absolute madman. Just yep. now? Just a little while ago? Like, a couple days ago. Damn. Yep. Do you like being in situations like that? I enjoy it. It allows me to deal with idiots. And make them feel like bigger idiots. Yeah. Understandable. It also allows me to say... It also allows me to make people feel like absolute fools without any real repercussion. Because whenever it's your job to make them feel yeah. like fools if they do stupid shit. Exactly. You should be a bouncer. <laughs> oh, Me, man. A bouncer. That's funny. Yeah, he's tall, but he's fucking nothing. I am a goddamn twig. Yeah, that's true. It, honestly, I should be a bouncer because I intimidate people with my size all the time, even not even doing it on purpose. Same. Hello, my name is Scorch. I'm here to clean your carpets. <laughs> I'm here to clean your carpets and die. Hi, Legion. Bye, Legion. Bye, Legion. Bye, Legion. <laughs> Anybody got a battery? Is it battery? Had... Oh, there oh was a battery. well, I have Probably. a Titan, but not a battery. Okay, uh, where are you? Uh, well, I'm doomed now. So. Wait, where the fuck is the dropship spawning? It, it hasn't yet. We haven't lost. Now we there, lost. Oh, now we've lost. Okay. Wait a second. He just lunge meleeed me with a titan. That's how melee works. Yeah, yeah. They fixed the melee system. Remember? They fixed. No, the but he was a good twenty feet away. Yeah. Well, they're titans. They have bigger thrusters. Don't give me that bullshit. I'm sorry. There's no excuse for it. They need to fix melee, that's all the only excuse. Um, do you still need that battery? Yes. No, I'm dead. My Titan died. Uh saucy. So I just perma unlocked the R97. Perma unlocked? What is wrong right? with you? I don't know. Why why would you spend credits on that? Ow! Burning. I have no clue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get in the drop shot. <laughs> nice. Wait, Damn who it. the heck? Oh my god, all those single digits. Oh shit, that's the team chat. You guys okay. didn't notice that I only got one kill that game. Hey, I did worse than you, so. Apparently. Actually, I think I got more Titan pilot kills than you did. I think you just killed lots of AI. If how this is going, I am not taking any more shots. Quickly, um, fix fucking Marvin. There we go. Because I don't have the six foot unlocked right now. Hey, um, Chef. Huh? Uh, you don't mind if I, um, 
upload this, right? Yeah. Nah, just send me a link. Oh yeah, most yeah. definitely, man. Most definitely. Yeah, se send all of us a link. All right. So who am I adding on uh, Discord? I would say. Uh, me, Jibupi. I guess. Yeah. Or Jaboopy. On DJ and B. Yeah, me. Send friend request. Okay. Send friend request. And then. Spicy. Now, I don't actually have. I don't actually have any work stories, really, anymore. Well, I have a couple, but not really gonna go into that anymore. I do have a couple from my main group of friends, what we call the Gits. Wait, you call your friends Gits? No, our group name is the Gits. The Gits, okay. And so, we had the funny idea one day to try and play Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Oh, oh God, PUBG. Yes, and it's been kind of my most recent drug. It's a fantastic <laughs> game. Right to the veins. So, Sorry. we were playing the game, and I obsession, as I'd call it, with the pump shotgun. Oh. I'll show you a pump shotgun. I have my game One set to constantly... Shotgun. I have my game set to constantly have my mic on. To everybody around me, not just my team. Oh, boy. And I landed in school. So while my, the rest of my team landed over on Watertown. I decided that as soon as I found a pump shotgun, I was going to go on a killing spree. I, <laughs> land, I landed on the top of the school, immediately found a pump shotgun, looked at a guy, hit eight on my numpad, which is also known as Ocean Man. Ocean Man? <laughs> why did you have a key out to play Ocean Man? <laughs> because, why not? So... <laughs> So they're just like, they're just like, John, you are so dead. There is no way around it. You are just going to die. <laughs> I say, I say, that's where you're wrong, guys. I found a shotgun. Is that where you're wrong, kiddo? And uh... made, to make things worse, I found both mods for the shotgun. Oh, no. So, all I saw was one guy who was on the top of the thing. Look at me. And he just said, he just, he just pulled out his pistol, started shooting at me. I run behind a corner. He runs, a, he tries to run around and shoot me in the face. I, uh, I just go, no. Boom, dead. Walk downstairs. The other, two other people who were in the same squad with him, turn the corner. Ocean man. Boom. Boom. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is all happening to the tune of Ocean Man, and they could hear me coming. <laughs> they could hear. Oh man, if that doesn't make for a horror story. Dude, so, if, were you found on Reddit later? No. He is the Ocean Man. So I walk out of school with all tier three armor, oh, a Car ninety eight K, and a pump shotgun. I drive up to my friends in a in a car and just say, So, you said I was going to die. I have seven <laughs> now kills. you die. No, I looked at them and just go, I have seven kills. And they're just So one of them's just like, I do not believe you that you have seven kills. And I just said, I will send you a screenshot after this game. And at, by the time that game was done, I was up to twelve kills. Jeez. Using only the pump shotgun and having Ocean Man playing. Oh, they would have me flank an entire team with only a pump shotgun. Hey, I told I Pro Cuban has an EPG. I told my friend, Austin, or Gez, that if you want, I will drop all of my armor run at the nearest person with only one shot in my thing and get a double kill. He didn't believe me. So, what I did was, I dropped all my armor, I dropped all my clothes. Shot he did all... it the absolute madman. 
shot all of the bullets out of my shotgun except one. And only had a shotgun and a stun grenade. So what out what happened was I run into the air tower of the military base where the circle was going to. I had Ocean Man playing the entire time. Wait, you were still playing? Yep. Jesus. I ran up, threw a flashbang up, shot one guy in the head. His friend was still there, shooting blindly. So, I did what any other reasonable man would do, and I punched him to death. Actually, what does your character in PUBG look like? Discount Nathan Drake. My character is <laughs> Bob. <laughs> My discount character is just Drake. So, discount Nathan Drake, Bob Ross. Uh, Bob Ross is a wonderful character to look like. And, you know, bend in the his, foot character, like, his character looks like a black woman. Actually, it is a oh. black woman. So, he looks at me and just goes, I can't believe you actually just did that. I just say, why can't you believe it? It's obviously just happened. Are you just sad that, are you just sad that I'm better at the game than you are? He's like, I've never seen you be good at a shooter. I just said, apparently you've never played Titanfall. And he said, I can do, I can one-up you. I can go through this with a bolt-action sniper. Damn. Wait, in PUBG still? In PUBG still. He says that he can do the same thing I did, but with a bolt-action sniper rifle. I can do everything you can do better. So... Well, anything you can do, I can do better. I, I don't fucking... Yeah, that's basically what he was saying. I said, Guess you're not gonna be able to do that. He says, why not? MISTAKES! He I drops all of his stuff, except for one clip of a car 98k. And, well, you already know the rest of it. He died? Yep. He walked into the area. I told him to play the loudest thing he could out of his soundboard. And, uh, he ran at them screaming, I am the machine. Yeah, machina, you go to be great. So... He runs at them screaming, I am the machine. Headshots won. His friend looks at him, says, fuck off. Shoots him. Kills him instantly. <laughs> Rip. I say, so, Mr. Machine, how'd that go? Dude, I'm buying PUBG and playing it with you. Oh, it's a fan. Actually, we should probably do that later. I have... Um, PUBG as well. I have no, I'm I'm horrible at PUBG. I think the most kills I've there ever got a, was uh, three. There is a Ronin to the bottom side. Uh, oh, bottom of the ship. But the other part is I've also only had um PUBG for what two days now. I've had it for a week. Yeah. So you you leaves better than I am. And I'm not just talking about experience, just in general. Hey, there's that Ronan. Hello. Fuck, that was... I got bamboozled. I am the bamboozle. I'm about to snicker dude. I'm about to snicker dude. Didn't cut this guy. <laughs> snicker dude. What? <laughs> Hey guys, wow, it's that time again. Oh shit. It's Scorch oh, back. Here we go. Brand new. Tell me, clap your hands, come on, everybody's fucking hamster dance. Oh. For God's sake. What the fuck killed me? Oh, nuclear bullshit, he nuclear ejected. Nuclear eject sucks on this map because half of the time when you nuclear eject, you kill yourself. 
Ah, fuck. Oh, he was right behind me. Just fantastic. I don't think I've got. No, I haven't gotten a single kill this round. Really? Hey, uh, oh, wanna, shoot. You wanna, wanna give me that eye on? That tasty. Tasty looking eye on. Tasty sweet ass. What? That was a play? I thought that was a gun. Shit. I mean, they're acting just like one, but. If I'm top of this goddamn leaderboard of our team in this end, I'm going to be surprised. Oh shoot, they have a sentry. How are we losing? Dude. How are we losing? Because none of us are I trying. blame Battle Wars 32. You blame Whoa, what? Whoa, I didn't hit him. How did I not step on that guy? Ooh, I have an anti-pilot sentry. Get off my lawn. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Oh, oh man. Flame core activated. Charge rifle thing. Charge rifle thing. Oh fuck! Please, next time, kill me something that, that, that actually takes skill. story that I had was we were in a very high tension situation. If you're gonna ordered, be telling stories, please don't have the voice change you on. I can't tell this. Yes, you. I forgot about that. Sorry. So my friend Jordan was in the middle of a high tense tension situation and was fighting somebody. I drive up a car and he said, "Holy shit, that car just gave me a motorbike." What? Exactly. Ah! Something's on me! Wow. wow, that fucking little shit. Wait, I don't get it. Oh, it's only Saucy. Saucy's the only hey, one. Hey, he died. <laughs> <laughs> Saucy's dead. Then my fucking Titan just oh, bitch slaps a dude across the map. Jesus Christ. I you have ended. five score. <laughs> Keep. Saucy. Oh, Saucy. Okay. Saucy. Yeah. It was basically this. <laughs> it was basically what? Oh, you didn't hear it? No. No, that's about enough life for me for one. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Oh, <laughs> uh, John. Um, um, okay, if we do, if we are doing uh, attrition, uh, go, go for, go for the uh, grunts and everything. That'll help with points. Yeah, but that's boy. Oh, yeah, don't be but... a pansy. We need the points. Yes, we I do. know. I, I wish that they it. would... Guys, am I the only one saying that they should actually do this whenever you play as a simulacrum pilot and you join the game? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That, that's when, that's when uh, somebody DCs. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. whenever, some, whenever somebody DCs, all you hear... No, oh, you hear the dial-up sound effect. You hear the di dial-up. No, that's when no, someone's all lagging. All you hear is this. I don't hear anything. I don't hear Sorry. anything either. Uh-uh. Th that, that's the point, I think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the <laughs> the fucking Jeopardy tune? Do, 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 it's do, really quiet, do, though. Do, 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 I, I said do, it was. You don't, you don't have to get guys. Going. Guys, you know what we need to do? What? All melee game, and I keep this playing. No, Wait, yes. no, 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 no. We gotta do an all Legion Frontier defense. Yes. <laughs> Wait, yes. but there's five of us. Exactly. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, there's five of us. Fuck! <laughs> Let it be game! Wait, are, are we going all was melees now? Are, are we going all melees? Wait, Let was that Ice King? Be yeah! Oh, yeah, this sounds like him. I gotta put a high noise warning now. <laughs> no. I, I still have- Oh shit, the game started. Yeah, I tabbed I, out. No, it, let's just do an all secondary. Okay. It's uh, high noise. My secondary is Mozambique, though. <laughs> shit.
No, well, then don't suck. What the fuck are your parents? No, I'm Why good with Mozambique. I used to be no, able to fight people across the map with the Mozambique. And someone. Oh. Okay. You gotta kill low health. Oh, fuck. He just ran around the corner with a shotgun. Ooh, we should do all e uh, EV8s. EV8s? Or. Eva Eva eight. Eight. Whatever, whatever the fuck they're called. Eva eights. Dude, I, I've, I've, been, play say Eva. I've I been playing this game for the past like six hours. Give me a break, please. Yeah, that no. makes sense. That phase where you just tried to stim out of a grab star. <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah, that's right. I have stim. Like a goddamn spoon. What the fuck, man? I'm doing trash this time. You know what? I'm gonna only kill people with a charge rifle. Not even charge hack. Oh boy. Oh I, no. I, I'm gonna try to get kills with an MGL then. How the fuck did that not kill him? <laughs> Damn it! God he reloaded fucking right as this guy jumped in front of me. Oh man. God. So fuck it. Fuck it. I'm 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 going Mose. If I get the kills with the MGL, I shall unlock my full potential. RE45, silence with extended bags. This is some Vani level shit right here. Wait, what is? Charge rifle only. How many kills have we gotten with it? One. It was a 360 degree no scope. How many kills do you think I've gotten so far? What the fuck was that? Okay, you know what? I'm pulling out the Mastiff. Yeah, the main stuff. Dude, I'm yes. going Mastiff Mozambique. You know what, screw it. I'm going freaking I mean, Kraper Jousting. I could just go for Kraper it. Kraper Jousting? <laughs> oh, fuck. Fucking barrel stuff the shit out of them. Come on, we can <laughs> wait, Kraper Jousting, you say? <laughs> what, wait, what, what is Kraper Jousting exactly? Um, Basically, you barrel stuff them. Basically, oh. you're only allowed to use melee and the Kraber, and you're not allowed to scope. Oh. So... Apparently, I, somebody's never joined r slash Titanfall. No, I don't really ever use, um... No, I'm saying the Discord. Nah. Oh don't. god, you should, as a meme. How fresh. Kinda spicy. Almost tick level of spicy. Oh, baby. Oh, nice. Dude, oh, I've gotten like shit. three double kills with ticks in the past two days. Are you kidding okay. me? Get on my level, I got a septuple kill with a tick once. <laughs> I am now boys. going to explode myself with a grenade. Another Make way sure of playing the song of your people. Another what another meme of playing Titanfall 2 uh. is is only playing Suicider, which is jumping at them with frag grenades. <laughs> okay. Well, Aloha snack butter. <laughs> Aloha snack boy. How stop, they... stop spamming Aloha when snack bar in the chat. Life gets you down, keeps you wearing up, and the gravy train has left you. Ow. I think this and is when you're all down at the end of your rope, and nobody's there to. Why does it keep cutting out? If you ever get low, then you my don't bad. know where to go. Ow. Come on, let's take a walk in my shoe. Never worry about on a street. I've got cure for all of my Get Kraber Joust just <laughs> I take a look at my enormous peak. Okay. Oh god, it's this song. At least Thank God I don't have to uh, monetize my videos anymore. Kweebu jousting. I gotta sing and I dance when... You keep cutting out. It keeps cutting out to be entertaining. I can fix that, just let me turn it up. Oh no. Oh no. Except, I'm about to change the song something that's not really copyrighted. 
I cannot crave a gel. How did that? Oh, I just got. I just crave a gel. Someone while I was stuck in a gel. What? And who that fellow? Oh no. What rock scallion wrote this song? I've always had a thing. It's still oh. cutting out. Yeah. Yeah, really. I think someone on the enemy team is Kriva Jousting. Give me. Cause there is no cock like horse. Oh. What? Okay, somebody is lagging to shit. Grab the loop and slam the. That's racist. Hmm? That's wow. my stop button. It's the shortest soundbite I have, so therefore it's my, uh, stop it. Yeah, I'm lagging a little bit. Yeah, I'm starting to lag. I'm not. It's just the people on the enemy team that are lagging for me. What servers do you guys connect to? And I'm uh, New York. For me, if they either Virginia, um, Texas, or um, South, or one of the Carolina ones, yeah. I'll take that double kill. And the reason, the reason you it take that double kill, is because shove it up your ass. Depends on the day. Mm. You know, I, I, I would like the Kraber better if I was using um like iron sights with it rather than like fucking. Ow. Kraber jousting, the best sport. It's the ultimate sport. Oh, why did I just amp the Kraber? Perfect! Oh god, he's using a smart pistol! Be more chances. Move out. How the fuck does he see me and just aim at me that quickly? Oh, that's why I died so quick. I just Kraber jousted two people before I died. Oh, uh, dropship's hey. coming from the other side. God damn it! What? What? How did that not hit him? What the f- Okay. Okay, game. It was at this moment that he knew. He <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman is a gift to this world. He is God. Ow. He wanna <laughs> I have several questions. Stop. Stop. Oh, John, God. Don, I, Tron, Don Tron is fantastic. I'm gonna have to cut this video into multiple parts. Holy shit. You what sit video? at the restaurant with your young son. He says he is hungry. You agree to get him dinner. You open up to the kids menu. Your child is far too young for a... Chicken Nugger stares at you. <laughs> you don't understand. Your pal gets sweaty, and your son complains. He says he is hungry. Oh. Your mind strains. By the way, that voice is Bren Daniel. Sweet potato and French fried. Oh. You try to order Chicken Nugger, but you cannot. The words cannot escape your lips. <laughs> Your son is hungry. Planes. The waitress stares at head a spinning chicken nugger. Sweet and tried. Are, are we Your still doing Kraber jousting? Yes. The chicken nugger is okay. okay. Notify the enemy team. You scream. It is raining, swear. <laughs> you have French chicken fries nuggers. engraved on your left temple. And you do not understand. Your son weeps in the corner. He is starving. Starving for the chicken oh, no. nugger. Someone has what? a name oh, shit. Too, noob. Whoa. Oh, no, <laughs> I died to a gun. Fantastic.
Aw, oh, man. The glories of paper jousting. Ow! He doesn't understand. I will take that Your son kill. is hungry. <laughs> Some dude fucking did a uh, jump slide right into my grenade. Oh sh! Whoa, that was actually the smoothest joust I've ever done. And I died immediately after. Which, honestly, if anyone knows me, it shouldn't surprise you. It doesn't. So, is there any song request tonight? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to stop the recording right here because I don't feel like being fucking slammed.